speed. Speeding. Okay. Matt, take one, Marker. And it'd be um, ideal if you could put the question at yep. the beginning of the answer. Perfect. You know what's up. Okay. That's all we're good. You call it. To give it a And. Okay, so let's start off with an intro. Name, position, team. Hello, my name is Matt, Matthew Ilento, and I play support for Team Liquid. Okay, now let's look back at the start of the split. It was a while ago, but what were your what were your feelings and thoughts coming into this season on this team? Uh, I guess at the start of the season, I felt really uh, not so confident at the beginning because overall my goal leading up to I guess even before playoffs, I just wanted to be a good LCS player. Like I just wanted to be, you know, middle of the pack would have been all right for me, but I think I've already accomplished whatever goals I had at the start, but my expectations since then has gotten a lot higher. Like now I feel like there's just, yeah, a, a big, big opportunity that I have to be the best in this region. So yeah, I just hope. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> Sorry that? for interrupting. It's okay. I'll just start over. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. That was a question. Again? It was uh, just thoughts coming in too. How do you feel coming into this season? Ready? <clears throat> are you what? okay? Are you looking for someone? No, I'm the director of operations for Team Liquid, so I'm just just gonna hang out. Gonna chill and yeah, no problem. With you guys. <laughs> okay. two apartments that we both live in. Okay. They live over there. I live here. Oh. Let's run it. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So roll. So yeah, roll. so let's start. I'll ask the question again. Okay. So coming back, into, uh, coming into the season, what were your thoughts and feelings? Yeah, so I guess at the start of the season, um, I felt really, not, not really confident, but uh, I was definitely with the expectation to just try to become, you know, the best I could be, like maybe a middle pack uh, support player in the LCS, but I think I've already accomplished that goal, and ever since then, yeah, my expectations has gotten a lot higher. I'm, uh, I think I have a lot of opportunity. Well, we should tell them to not moan in the background. <laughs> who, do you know who that was? Oh. You guys, sorry, we can hear you. You guys keep it down. Oh, was that a joke? Was that a troll? Oh. Should we go? Third attempt's the charm? Alright, sure. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so... Uh, at the beginning of the season, I felt probably not really confident, but my only expectation leading into the season was I was going to take that opportunity of playing the LCS to become you know, the best player I could be. And at the start, I guess I, I was just aiming for being a, a middle-of-the-pack player for LCS. But I think I've already reached that, that goal. And my expectations got... A lot higher since then. I think the opportunity I have now to become the best uh, player in this region, I think, or the best support player. So I think, yeah, that's a huge opportunity if we could get first at, um, at playoffs. So you, I think, at the beginning, you probably. One second, hold the roll. We're still rolling. Still rolling. Did something fall down? Mm hmm. So, at the beginning of the split, you you qualified for I think challenger, and then you just kind of got thrusted into the onto the LCS stage. Was there? Did you feel ready to be in the LCS at that point? Yeah, I think I just qualified for the NA Challenger Series with TLA, and a few days later, I got to start in LCS. So it was a pretty uh, pretty big swing of things because at first I wasn't even in the Challenger Series yet. And then I qualified for the Challenger Series, and then I started playing LCS, so it was a pretty quick pr progression. I don't think I needed to be ready, but yeah, I was, I could have been more ready. <laughs> how, how would you have been more ready? What do you mean by that? Oh, oh, bye. So what do you mean by that? You could have been more ready? Well, yeah, I only had a few days while I was a Challenger player, and I think to be in the LCS, you definitely need some experience, but for whatever reason, I... 
I probably didn't play as well as I did in my debut, but for a debut, yeah, I thought I played fine. So you've already had a season now of playing in the LCS. Is, was there anything about playing in the LCS that maybe surprised you or you didn't expect? Um, I mean, I think it's always been like my dream, I guess, to play in LCS. So uh, all the expectations I had for LCS, they were either, um, I mean, I guess it was just not real expectations. Like I thought, yeah, every game I'd just try my best to look flashy. I'd try my best to get a bunch of fans, but yeah, my, my mentality changed a lot. Like now I'm not just trying to be the flashiest kind of guy. I'm there to be, yeah, the more supporting guy and just try to make my teammates look good and try to get, yeah, the best win rate I can get with my team. So at the beginning of the split, Team Liquid said that they were doing the 10-man roster, like the rotations. But then as we see throughout the split, you guys kind of had the same five players. So can you take us through, um, you know, starting with the 10-man roster and then what made you guys stick with these five players? Um, yeah, we only made one real roster change. That was during the first week. Uh, I mean, it wasn't planned to just for those five to always play since the starting of the week one. I mean, we all wanted to get better like whether you're on the challenger team or you're on the starting team uh, having someone else behind you trying to take your spot it's definitely a drive and even though yeah I didn't swap out after I joined LCS uh, yeah I mean I think having that 10 man roster was a pretty good help in the early weeks but later on it just became the main team and the challenger team so with you and the other two rookies joining the team how has how did the team, the veterans on the team, and the, the support system that you guys have, like coaches-wise, how did they help you guys transition and feel comfortable on that team? Um, I mean, I think I, if I ever had like trouble with understanding the game, I'd always talk to Loka. Loka has been a very good help to me. Uh, he's definitely taught me a lot about the game and how to think about the game. Uh, so if anyone helped me the most when I was transitioning to LCS, it's definitely Loka. And at the beginning, did you guys did you guys all just get along personality wise because you guys were, came from different places in one apartment like how did the personalities fit at the beginning to oh now? yeah definitely um so I, I guess it was just more of a honeymoon phase but the first weeks or yeah especially the first week even before we even practiced together on stage we definitely had uh some good synergy it was the first time we played together s5 on stage and i think we were against tsm who at the start of the season was expected to be the best team. Uh, yeah, it was a, a pretty good experience to have just us five players playing for the first time. And so at the beginning of the season, you guys kind of had a rough start. I think you guys lost like, the first three games. So, but then you guys obviously showed a really strong performance afterwards. So what clicked for you guys? What, what was the thing that made it just click into place? I mean, we had to learn a lot coming from, yeah, three people who've never played in the LCS yet. Uh, we had to learn yeah, just how to really be a good team. Uh, the things we had to learn, you can't really learn on your own, so it's just something you had to learn over time with the right structure and the right, yeah, the right staff that we had. And like Loco definitely taught us a lot. Uh, what we would learn from scrims is very valuable to be successful on stage. And so this season, I feel like one of the main criticisms you guys faced was the whole inconsistency thing. And I know you don't like that because we've talked about it before. You're like, well, obviously we were rookies. So with that criticism in mind, what, what did you think about that? So tell me what you thought about it when you heard that criticism towards you guys. Um, I mean, yeah, it's true. Like inconsistency is pretty real for our team throughout the season. I'd say towards the end of it, there definitely was a lot less inconsistency. Uh, we were able to show up a lot on stage at the later part of the season. But for the most part, why we were so inconsistent at the start was, yeah, we were rookies. We didn't really know exactly what we wanted to do on stage yet. Like transitioning our scrim results on the stage wasn't, uh, yeah, it just didn't happen yet. So that's what happened. Do you feel like people were maybe more harsh on you guys? Maybe because they heard you guys on TLA, like you guys, ooh, you guys were like the upcoming talents. Did you feel like you were judged more harshly, even though the fact that you guys were rookies? Uh, I mean, I don't really remember a time where I was judged very harshly. Like, I, I like to read Reddit a lot and I like to read like Twitter comments, I guess. And yeah, like a lot of people like to hate on you, but I mean, I felt it was like, yeah, all the hate was not very overly judgy. Like I thought, yeah, it didn't really matter to me. So it was fair, makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't say fair, it's just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, now 
Let's look back at the season. What do you think was the highlight moment for you? So like the best moment? A highlight? Uh, Does it have to be a play? It could, just, it could be a play, but like maybe a moment where you, were the, you felt the most successful or the, the best moment of the season. Mm, I mean, since I'm like in a duo lane, I can't really say there's any like one significant play I've had. Uh, I mean, I remember. Speed. Matt, so interview, take two, marker. Yes, I'll start the question again. Matt, call I am set. Action. Okay, so looking back at the season, what do you think was the highlight of it for you? Mm, yeah, since I don't really, yeah, uh, since I'm in a duo lane, it's not so much my play that'll be uh, highlighted. Unless I'm playing something flash like Bard. But I remember against TSM, our second game against TSM, me and Piglet, we were able to just destroy uh, Double Lift and Yellow Star 2v2. Yeah, we kind of just won the entire game off of just being able to dive them, so I guess that'd be a pretty good highlight. And then what was the most difficult moment of the season? Uh, difficult moment? I mean, a difficult moment would probably be, I think one day, uh, it was the second game against NRG in the split, so it's probably week eight, week nine. Uh, we didn't have good prep leading up to that day. Uh, yeah, there was like errors on staff side, and it ended up being a day where we had no prep, and it really yeah, messed us up for that day. Like we just, uh, yeah, we had a free loss that day pretty much. It was pretty lame, but. Yeah, it's probably the most difficult time of the season for me. Do you remember how you felt like walking off that stage after that game? Uh, I mean, yeah, like, I remember there was just like the thought in my head and thinking, yeah, we could have played better, but it felt like this game, yeah, there was a lot less control on my side. And I remember thinking that this was like one of the only times where I really didn't have as much control as I could have. Yeah, I remember, the, yeah, I just think that. Yeah, like I didn't like losing that control. Yeah, I guess. So you mentioned before already that like your performance, you, you did more, I think, than you expected. But so if you were to give yourself a piece of criticism on your personal performance, what would you say to yourself? Mm, so criticizing myself? Yeah. Uh, I'd criticize myself just knowing how I've practiced. I'd say I probably had more opportunity of learning more, and I'd end up just and not taking full advantage of it. I probably could already be one of the best players in this region already if I truly dedicated myself, but haven't been able to say that yet. So even though it's my first split, I'd say I definitely have the opportunities to be the best. And now it's interesting because, you know, before this, before the LCS, you weren't on camera much. You know, you didn't do, you've just kind of been thrust into the spotlight since starting LCS. So how have that, how, do you like it? Is it something you're, you're comfortable with or is it very unfamiliar to you and you're like still adjusting to it? Uh, being on camera, I mean, I'm pretty Playing comfortable. Stage, being yeah, on being on stage, being on camera, it's very comfortable for me now. I mean, I remember the first times I'd get uh, like put in front of a camera because of Rebirth. Uh, like shooting an interview while I was telling the Challenger team, I remember just not even being able to speak in the camera. It took me like 20 minutes just to do a, a few minute video. Uh, yeah, I guess I got more comfortable on camera. Okay, and if you were to do one thing differently this season, if you were to go back and change it, what would that moment be? One moment? Uh, I guess it'd be yeah, making sure everyone, actually no. Uh, I mean, if I could just tell myself one thing, it would be work harder. <laughs> You'd be able to be a much better player if you just worked harder. Okay, cut. That was segment A.